Oh boy, here we go. Hey everybody, DigiGillotine here, and welcome to another character ranking. Now, I'm sure a lot of you probably saw this one coming. This is, of course, my ranking of all of the ReZero characters. I'm really looking forward to doing this. I absolutely loved ReZero when I finally got to watch it. Uh, it was such an absolute, it was such a ride and such an experience of, it, of a show. And uh, yeah, today I want to rank the characters, but we gotta lay out some ground rules real quick because this is already going to be the most characters I've ever ranked in one video. Like, this is even more than the Dong and Rampa character ranking videos. Uh, we have I think about 20 characters in here to rank and I gotta put some limits on this so we're only gonna be ranking major characters we're not gonna be ranking small characters that don't really contribute much to the plot we're only gonna be ranking the major characters just about all the characters that someone could say is their favorite character of the show will be ranked in this like all of the major characters will be ranked but this show just has so many fucking characters that it would be absolutely ridiculous for me to rank every single individual character in this entire show so we are limiting it to, to only the major characters of the show and we are also going to be only doing these season one characters so none of the season two characters so I'm only doing that because maybe someday I might get around to doing the season two characters but there's so many characters in season two that doing them together there would probably be at least like 35 characters in this freaking video and that is just too much for me then this is already probably going to be a little too much for me so yeah because if I were to rank as if I were to do the season two characters I'd have to rank all the sin witches I'd have to rank all the freaking bishops that show up I'd have to rank all the characters from the Sanctuary and the Half-Blood characters and everybody. So it would be absolutely ridiculous to rank every single character from Season 1 and Season 2. So this one's only going to be Season 1 and maybe some way down the future I'll go ahead and do the Season 2 characters as well. But without further ado everybody, this is going to be my ranking of all of the major characters from ReZero. Now, uh, real quick, I do have this really cool art book from my, from my Blu-ray set that I got. So I actually will have a couple of uh, pictures up of some of the characters. So that is pretty cool. But let's jump into this. And of course, first up is Subaru Natsuki. Now, now, Subaru is obviously a very flawed character, and that is kind of the whole point with him. He's a flawed character. He kind of gets into this situation where he's in this, uh, he's in this new world, and he's got a, and he, every time he dies, he resets at a checkpoint, gets all of his previous memory, uh, all of his previous memories intact, and he goes about his life in a different way that hopefully will result in a better outcome overall. He's a very flawed character, but I think that this show does a good job of making you sympathize with him. Like, there is the whole thing with him, like, every time he dies, it really is, like, a really traumatic experience. Like, they don't just play it off like Subaru dies and then we're just gonna move on because, you know, that's what he does. Subaru just dies all the time. No, every single time Subaru dies, it's kind of a big deal. Like, it's never really played off as a, as a little thing that doesn't really mean anything. Every time he dies, he's like, it hurts. He doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to kill himself, but... You know, that's the whole thing with his character. And I do think he is a good character. And there is, of course, the whole thing with, especially in season one, where he kind of, like, throughout the first half, it's pretty basic. Then once you get to the, once you get to the half of the show where the, where the, the witch's cold attack, by the way, we're not holding back on spoilers, by the way, I think that goes without saying, um, when the witch is called attack and he gets back and he finds all of his friends dead and he has to and he, then and then he uh, he kind of gives up after giving after trying that life so many times to save everybody and get, and losing every single time and then of course the thing with Ram Ram kind of brings him back uh, restores his faith and then he kind of rolls through the rest of it kind of dominates everything because he's accepted like you know the whole thing he's like you know he has that all he has that that huge speech in that huge speech in C in episode eighteen with Ram where he's like I hate myself I hate everything about myself I don't understand how you could love me and Ram kind of pulls him back brings his faith back it, it's a great moment I think the character does overall really work very well as the main character of the show but I would be lying if I said Subaru was even in my top five favorite characters of this show man um I don't know there's just something about his design and his personality that Makes it very difficult for me to just straight up say I like him as a character. I would say I do like him as a character, but I would not say he's even in my top five favorite personally. So for those reasons, I'm going to go ahead and hit Subaru. I'm going to give him an A tier. I think he works well as the main character of the show and the whole end, like everything he goes through, all the traumatic shit he goes through. It, it, he is definitely a great character, but for me, he just, he never really reached the point where he became anything more than just the main character of the show for me. He never, he never really broke that barrier for me. So for me, I'm going to give Subaru an A tier. And I will say, 
he can be kind of insufferable at times. Like there is that whole thing with him when during the the royal selection, when they have all of the all of the all of the potential leaders, like you know Priscilla and Cruce and Anastasia, uh, and the and the guys are like picking which ones they like and Amelia, and they don't pick Amelia, so Subaru goes up and just makes a huge scene in front of everybody. Like it seems like that that really make me kind of not really want to say that I just straight up like him as a character because sometimes he can be genuinely insufferable. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm gonna hit Subaru with an A tier. All right, you know what? I'm actually gonna bump it down to an A minus just because yeah, he really can be kind of kind of a kind of insufferable jerk at sometimes. So Subaru A minus. All righty. Amelia, um, this is gonna be a pretty, pretty sim similar argument for Amelia because I'm not an Amelia fan personally. Um, I know that she has her fans. There's kind of, it seems to be like a debate like who is best girl, Amelia or Rem? That seems to be the main thing there. And honestly, I don't think there's any context whatsoever, contest whatsoever between these two characters because Amelia was sort of insufferable in the first in the first season for me like I really did not like her that much as a character um I was excited I was like like in the lead up to seeing the show like I had seen her everywhere I'd seen clips of her I thought she was gonna be a good enough like character I thought she was I thought it was gonna like her enough but I found her kind of un I found her really boring and uninteresting and I found her kind of mean honestly like there were so many moments in that show where I don't think she was like she didn't come off as genuinely mean but she didn't really feel like she was really giving the character like, like she wasn't she didn't really feel like she was giving Subaru like the best uh, the best chance or the best or or the best like I don't know what I'm trying to get at here but I don't know she there were aspects of that character that I just did not like overall I think her design is pretty good very elegant and very regal and, and 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 graceful i do like that design as well um her voice i don't know if her voice was 100 percent perfect i watch dubs so keep that in mind but um i don't know i feel like her voice maybe didn't really match her look all that well that was one thing i always kind of distracted me about that character um i will say that in season two i did start to like amelia a little bit more because of the whole sorry my, my alarm just went off i totally forgot to to uh turn that off um i will say in season two when we get when we start learning more about her backstory the whole thing with her and and uh and her and her mother and the whole thing with her and battle goose and whatnot all of that was pretty darn good and i like the development with her especially in the trials of, of, of season two but that doesn't come until the very end of the show basically and most of the show I did not like this character and of course that didn't help that halfway through the show she pretty much just vanished into thin air like once you get to episode 15 after the whole witch cult attack you see Amelia like one time throughout like like maybe actually like twice maybe three times throughout the rest of the show like the last uh the last like 10 episodes of the show you see her like three times probably um so yeah she kind the fact that she like after 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 episode 15 you don't really see her all that much i don't know i just don't really love amelia as a character personally and i'm pretty sad i'm i'm pretty okay with giving her also an a minus although i'm actually gonna bump her straight down to a b tier to a b tier because i definitely would say i like subaru a little more than amelia because the thing with these though you have to keep in mind that i'm pretty sure the point of subaru and amelia is that they're supposed to be flawed characters that you're supposed to be conflicted with whether you like them or not that's the whole thing with them because the overall message of re-zero seems to be love yourself which is a good message to send but subaru and amelia they are kind of like flawed characters and once again i think that is the point which is really nice how how the whole message of the show is love yourself and the, the and these two flawed characters do really care for each other so i do think that that works really well as them but it is kind of difficult but it does bring conflict into saying that you just straight up like these characters overall and that might change eventually once i rewatch the show maybe um but right now i feel pretty confident in the a minus for subaru and the b for amelia so there we go we got our two leads out of the way let's keep going all righty Puck. I did not like Puck. I did not like him. He was a weird character, man. I don't know. I thought I, mean, I love Erica Mendez as an, a voice actor, but I didn't think her voice really matched that character at all. I didn't really like him as a character at all. There was the whole thing with her in the in the second half of season one, where uh, fucking after Subaru gets back and everybody's dead, and he fucking erupts out of the mansion as like a gigantic wolf. That was kind of cool. Um, there were some good things about him, but overall, man, I don't know. This was not a character I really cared for, and I was pretty happy that he didn't show up all that often. I'm pretty happy that he didn't have a ton of screen time. Because I don't know, there were honestly like a little bit of that character like made me a little uncomfortable. Honestly, like I don't know, I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's just the fact he was a talking, he was a talking flying cat with a voice that I just did not think matched him at all. Um, but overall, he is just definitely not a character I really cared for in this show. So I'll give Puck a C tier personally. He was kind of important to the plot, so there is that, but C tier for Puck. 
Alrighty, I'm gonna try and go a little bit faster through some of these. I don't want this video to be ridiculously long, so let's get into this. Alrighty. Felt. Okay, so Felt. I liked Felt a good bit for the for the time that she was there, but she doesn't really have that many t that much time. Honestly, she's only really in two episodes, really, in the entire show. If you really think about it, she's only in two episodes. There's the first episode, and then the episode, uh, the Royal Selection episode, when she's brought in as one of the as one of the candidates as of, of one of the uh, the rulers of uh, Lagunica. So I like her. I like her design. I like her personality. I liked the whole thing with her in episode one, how she kind of meets Subaru in one way and kind of in. Uh, and it's kind of cool with him, and then she meets him in another way, and she's and she like it's pretty cool because like you get to see two different you get to see two different ways that felt meets uh, Subaru, and they're both completely different. Like the way that they interact is both completely different in both of the ways that they meet each other. Um, and she got a good design. I like her relationship she builds with uh, with Old Man Rom, but a character that I don't have much of an opinion on because even though I didn't like the time she was there. She pretty much just vanishes. Like, there's, we, after, after episode, uh, 13, which is like the second time we ever see her in the show, she's pretty much just gone for the rest of the show. And she had, and she didn't show up in season two at all. She had no screen time whatsoever in season two. So, I don't know. I hope maybe she'll come back in season three, hopefully. But right now, I just don't have much of an opinion on her. So I'll hit her with a B tier. Cause I did like her as a character, but I mean, she just didn't have that much time. So, B tier for Phil. Alright, Old Man Rom, this is gonna be a pretty fast one. I don't really have much of an opinion on this. Um, I did, I was kinda, you know, it was kinda sad when, when Elsa killed him, uh, in that first time, or, or the first couple times. But, um, I mean, he's a, he's a fine character. I don't have a problem with him. I mean, his, his design was cool, personality was cool, the whole thing with him and Subaru. Subaru gets there first and they just kinda bond, you know, have beers and whatnot. Fun character, like his design, but, uh, you know, once again, another character that pretty much shows up like twice in the show and then just poof, he's gone. Uh, so yeah. For that reason, I'm gonna hit him with a, a B minus. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go to a C tier, because I definitely like Felt more, but Old Man Rom, just not a character that I really knew. I also totally forgot that I had this book here and I could like show you pictures of, of the characters, whatnot. I'll try to I'll try to remember that now, but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll bring up I'll bring up Old Man Rom real quick because I know he's in here. There we go. There's Felt. So there's Felt and there's Old Man Rom. Yeah, those two characters are just not, not really standout characters in my opinion. All right. Elza, our first villain of the show. I thought she was a pretty good villain. I liked Elza a lot. She was pretty fucked up in the head. Uh, I liked the whole thing with her. She's the bowel hunter. She like always goes for the gut with her knives. She was a very cool character, a very threatening villain, especially in the first episode, the whole thing with her against Reinhardt. Very cool. Um, I liked her a good bit. As far as villains go in this show, I think she's probably one of my favorites, and this show has got no shortage of great villains. All the villains in this show I thought were pretty fucking outstanding. So yeah, Elza, great character, awesome villain. I'll hit Elza with an A tier. As far as villains go, she was very scary and very intimidating, and I liked her a lot. So yeah, and I mean... She does have a pretty great design, you know. I'm just, I'm just gonna throw that out there as well. So yeah, Elsa A tier, and I like the whole thing, the whole reveal with her in season two as well. Um, I'll actually not spoil that because I know uh, that that I, because I think I know some people out there might that watching this might not have seen season two yet. So um, I'll go ahead and not spoil it. But the reveal with her in season two, the whole twist with her in season two, I did dig that a lot. That was a fun thing to throw in there for her. So yeah, Elsa A tier. All right, Reinhardt, another character that we just don't get that much time with. He's got a good design. He's got some good moments in the show. The whole thing where he really is kind of the savior that they need. I'll bring him up real quick. You know, I, once again, I totally forgot to, uh, I totally forgot to bring up, uh, Elza, but there's Reinhardt right there. And I'll go ahead and show Elza real quick as well. Uh oh, there's a cat in my room. Uh, there's Elza right there. Yeah. See, that, see what I mean? She's got a pretty, pretty good design, doesn't she? <laughs> uh, but yeah, Reinhardt, cool character. I liked the old thing where he wouldn't take his sword out because his sword was overpowered as shit. So if he took his sword out, he probably would have fucking obliterated everything. Uh, and he kind of picks up that one sword and just uses like the standard sword instead of his awesome sword he had in the, she in the sheath there. But once again, another character that we just don't get that much time with. He's certainly not a major character. Uh, he doesn't even show up at all through and he doesn't really even show up at all in season two. So, uh, yeah, once again, just like old man ramen felt just a character we don't get any time with. So, uh, I thought he was a good character, he was a very nice character, a very nice person overall, so I'll go ahead and hit him with a B tier, but just like Felt and Old Man Rom, there is just absolutely no time with this character, so. Alrighty, but finally, finally we get to talk some serious good characters here, alrighty. 
Rem, of course, Rem, dude, best girl, best girl, what do I even gotta say, man, it's Rem, Rem has earned her spot in the Waifu Hall of Fame, Rem is one of the absolute greatest anime girls of all time, and I do not dispute that, and it's so obvious why if you watch the show, man, Rem is simultaneously the nicest and sweetest character of the show, and the most badass and awesome character of the entire show, she's a perfect combination of both of those things, she has an absolutely incredible design, I love her design so much, she is so cute, so awesome, all all of her speeches, all of her awesome things, the whole thing, how she completely falls for Subaru, Subaru won't, won't return her love, it's a bit of a tragic twist on the character, but she's still so, the way she still relentlessly supports him no matter what, even when he rejects her, even when he says that he does love Amelia and he only thinks of her as a friend, and she still endlessly supports him, such an awesome character, dude, I tell you what, if I was Subaru, I would have said, fuck Amelia, let's go, Rem, let's run off together, I fucking, you are the best girl of the show, and I mean, that is kind of the point once again, you know, the whole undying love between Subaru and Amelia, how they're both flawed characters, it's perfect. I'm not saying I don't like that aspect of the show, I'm just saying that if I was personally Subaru, I would be like, nah, Amelia, she is not worth it, man. She does not return my love. This chick right here, this is my girl. And yeah, Ren is just awesome, man. I love her so much. Such an awesome design, such a great character. All of her moments where she just fucking loses it, where she goes demon mode and just starts eviscerating everything, man. It's so awesome, especially the one where after, uh, 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 Subaru's been captured by the witch's cult and he's chained to the wall and Battle Geese is like talking shit to him and uh, and, he, and he turns around and he hears like the rattling of her mace and she just erupts from the shadows and is just like don't you touch him just starts fucking eviscerating the witch's cult she's such an awesome character dude there is no reason why Rem would not get an S plus man she is just amazing just one of the absolute standout characters of the show S plus 100% let's bring up Rem here because of course getting to see Rem is always such a huge, a huge, wonderful part of life. There you go, man. She is, she is just wonderful, man. What more can be said about Rem? As I've been said a million times, this character is so popular, so beloved, and upon watching the show, you will 100% see it. And I love the whole thing as well. There was the whole thing in season, in the, in the first half of season one. Probably my favorite arc of, se of the first half of season one, honestly. The one where, uh, where Subaru kept dying in the mansion. He kept, he kept dying on like the fourth night of being in the mansion. And he has to figure out who's killing him. And then when it's revealed to be Rem because she doesn't trust him. Amazing arc, man. I love that arc so much. And then there was that fucking horrible scene where, uh, where Rem like, uh, starts torturing him in the thing to get information from him. She like she like cuts his uh, his leg off and he's just standing and he's just sitting there laying there just screaming and being absolutely like like just so like so agonizing and this and Rem like torturing him and like uh and like getting all the information about him because she doesn't trust him because she cause she uh she senses the witch's scent on him. Awesome arc, man. I love that one. That one was a serious highlight of the first half of season one for me. So yeah, love that one. Rem is an S plus. Every time she shows up, she's an amazing character. She's honestly probably my main issue with season two is the fact that there is a huge Rem sized hole in season two, man. Um. So yeah, I mean. That's not a spoiler, Rem, obviously, that's obviously a first thing, well, it's, it is kind of a spoiler, but it happens in the very first episode of season two, so, yeah, uh, S+, plus season two, uh, Rem is just amazing, I love her so much. Alrighty, Rom, um, honestly, this character was basically not a character in season one, so I am gonna have to kind of cheat my rules a little bit with this one, because, uh, because, uh, she really wasn't a character in season one, she really became a character in season two, uh, but I really do love the development with her in season two a lot, I thought she was a much better character in season two, I love the whole thing with her and Roswell, although, once again, I don't want to get too into it, because I don't want to spoil season two for people who maybe not, who maybe haven't seen it, um, but I loved her a lot in season two, but in talking season one, I will factor in season two as well. I will factor in the overall character. And overall, I do like Rom as a character because of all the development we get with her in season two. And she does have some good moments in season one as well. I like the whole thing where she's teaching Subaru. I like the quirk of her calling Subaru Barusu, like inverting his the letters of his name. And the fact that Subaru never calls her out on it. Like there's never a point where Subaru actually is like, my name is Subaru, not Barusu. I kind of like that. It was a fun it was a fun quirk between those two characters. I, I like that a lot. Um, I like her design. Once again, obviously she does just look like Rem, but uh, uh, pink, but I do like her design as well. I think it is awesome. I love the, I love the way, like, how they, how they, I, I do like the kind of, uh, the, 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 the way that they kind of look when they're all together, you know, how they, how they look so similar, but, like, their hair is different on, like, one side, like, Rem's hair is on this side, and, or is that, is it the other way? Okay, I had to look at my thing, but yeah, it's this way, and Rem, and Rom is on that way. Um, so yeah, I like the character a lot. Rom is a good character, in my opinion. I definitely did like her, um, and I really liked the development with her in season two. There were some really great moments with her in season two. Uh, her, her all of her, her 
her, uh, what was it, like a wind, her wind magic that she has, because she doesn't have, she doesn't have her demon form like Rem, because there was that whole thing where they went into her backstory in that one episode, and they reveal that her, her demon horn was taken away from her, but Rem still has it, so she can't go demon mode like Rem, but she still has her wind magic, which is pretty cool, and it's still pretty darn powerful, so, yeah, I liked Rom a good bit, I thought she was a really good character, I'll go ahead and hit Rom with an A tier, I thought she was a really good character, I liked her a good bit. And yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty satisfied with that with that ranking. I was thinking like maybe not because Subaru, I gave Subaru an A minus, and I'm thinking like, do I really like uh, do I really like Subaru any, anywhere near as much as Rom? But yeah, I, I agree with that. A minus for Subaru, Rom uh, A tier. Yeah, I'll go with that. Alrighty, Beatrice. I fucking love Beatrice. Beatrice might be my favorite character of the show, honestly. Either her or Rem or fucking uh, Felix. Those are definitely my favorite characters of the show. But Beatrice, man, I love her. I love her. I love her design so much. I love her Celeste hair. That is such an awesome god design, man. I always love the tornado hair in any character that shows up. I love the design of her dress as well. She has an amazing uh, design in her dress. I love the way that this, like, uh, this little bit at the top of her dress, like, drapes down like that she has such a regal and graceful design and i love her personality as well the whole thing where she ended every single sentence with i suppose such a fun character quirk man it really it never really annoyed me i just really enjoyed it it was just a fun quirk of the character um i love her design i love the like butterfly uh shading in her ear here i'll actually i'll try it i'll try and show it to you she has like uh like the butterfly outlining in her ear and it was uh, in her not her ear or eye i can't believe i said ear uh yeah she has like the butterfly thing in her, in her eye right there. That was a really cool thing. That was, uh, that was a big part of, like, season two as well, which I really liked. And, uh, speaking of season two, I love the development with her in season two. I don't really want to spoil it, but the whole thing, how season, how the second half of season two really was kind of all about Beatrice and, and, and Beatrice's story and Beatrice's fate. Um, I really liked that. I definitely liked it more than the first half of season two. I have a video coming out on season two very soon, so, uh, if you're interested in that, stay tuned on my channel because I have a review of season two recorded and it'll be going up very soon. Um, but yeah, I really did like Beatrice a lot. I love her design. I love her personality. One of my favorite characters of the show by far. I just really fucking love her. She's awesome. Yeah, I love her. Beatrice gets an S. I absolutely love her. And you know what? I'll hit her with an S+. Plus. I absolutely loved her. I just thought she was such an awesome character. So yeah, Beatrice gets an S+. Plus. All right. Roswald, great character, very creepy, very cool. I liked him a lot throughout season one. He's kind of mysterious. There's those scenes in, uh, there's those scenes at like the end of the episodes where he's like sitting there, like looking out of the window and he's got Rom on his, uh, and he's got Rom and he kind of feels like he's like scheming something. So he was a cool character. And of course, in season two, he's basically the main villain of season two. So there is that whole thing as well. Once again, not going to get into spoilers, but yeah, Roswell really is kind of the main villain of season two. Um, but I liked him a good bit. I like his design a lot. I thought his whole story was in season two, all of the all the development with him in season two was really good. Um, great design. He's obviously very powerful. I love that scene in season one when he has to save them all. He just comes in. He's just fucking pretty much like destroys all of the mobbies. I, I love that as well. Um, cool character, man. I like Roswell. Uh, let's let's bring him up in my in my book here so we can take a look at his awesome design because it, it really is an awesome design, man. I love I love Roswell's design. There he is, right there. Very cool character, man. Very cool character. I, I like him a lot. He's got such a cool design, a very cool personality, and yeah, a very good villain in season two as well, I must say. So yeah, Roswell, I'll hit him with an A tier. I thought he was a good character. Alrighty, Petra. I don't have much of an opinion on Petra. I mean, there is the whole thing with her. I mean, I don't, I don't think she's in this book. Is she in this book? I don't know. She was kind of a bigger character in season two. Um, but she, yeah, she's a pretty small character in season one. Uh, but she was a fine character. You know, she was nice. She was nice to Subaru. Um, which is more than you can say for some characters in this show. But I don't have much of an opinion on her. I don't, uh, I mean, she, she's, she is a bigger character in the show. But for some reason, I really just don't have that much of an opinion on her. So I'll go ahead and hit Petra with a B minus just because I don't know, I don't, she's just not that memorable of a character in my opinion, you know, she's just a, a pretty standard, like, little kid character in the show, the whole, she's very nice to Subaru, I like the whole thing where she gave him the, well, you know, that's a season 2 thing, but it's not really a spoiler, the whole thing where she gave him the the little white rag in season 2 and she wanted him to get it all dirty for her, I like that, um, but, uh, and there was of course the whole thing with her in uh, in the mansion attack in season 2 as well, um, I like Petra a good bit, I'll go ahead and give her a B- minus, but uh, just not like the, just not a very memorable character in my opinion, personally, I'm not, it's just, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. I'll just leave it there. Alrighty, but now we get to my boy, my boy, man, Felix, dude, dude, 
If you had told me before I watched this show that I was gonna love this guy, I would never have believed you, man. I tend to not really like, like, Neko things right now, which is kind of changing now because I loved Kaneko in, uh, in high school DXD and I fucking love Felix, but I didn't used to be a fan of that whole thing. Like, it's kind of, because, you know, it's kind of furryish a little bit, but, uh, and, you know, you know, you do you, man. You, you, you do you, people, but it's not me, but... Felix was so cool. Felix was such a badass, man. I don't know what it was about Felix, but he was such a badass. Every time he showed up, he had, he was just, every single time he showed up, I took him completely seriously. Every time he showed up, every time he opened his mouth, he was always taken completely seriously by me. I never took him as a joke character. I never, I never really, li like, I love that character, man. I love him. I have no idea how they took a character that looks like that and is a fucking cat dude and looks like a girl and is a dude, like he's a, he's a trap. Once again, I don't mean any offense. Please, God, do not construe it that way. I loved Felix. He was such an awesome character. I'm, I'm really sad that he did not get any time in season two. I really wanted to see more of him. I love him. Honestly, Felix might actually be my favorite character of the entire show. Once again, it's pretty much a tie between him, Beatrice, and Rem. I love all three of those characters, but Felix, man, he was awesome. And I was so shocked by how much I loved him. What are you doing down there? <laughs> my cat is down here. How fitting, right? Um... But yeah, man, in, in the lead up to this show, to watching this show, I did not think I was gonna have any opinion on Felix. I thought he was gonna be a character that I did not like at all. But, I fucking loved him. I absolutely loved him. Every time he showed up, I would constantly tell myself, like, how? Why am I loving this character so much? Why do I like this character so much? How have you done this? I love him, man. I love Felix. Felix gets an S+. Plus. Once again, I love him as a character. Every time he showed up, he was such a huge highlight of the show for me. I absolutely love Felix. S+. Plus. Alrighty. Crochet Karsten, another character that I absolutely loved. I thought she was so cool, so badass. I loved the whole arc with her in the White Whale. Unfortunately, there's not really a picture of her in uh, in this art book, which is really sad because she was a huge character in the second half of season one. Wilhelm's in here and Felix, but not but not fucking uh, Crochet. But there is this picture at the end there. There we go. There's a nice picture of Crochet right there. Awesome character. I absolutely love Crochet. I thought she was so cool, so badass. I love the whole white whale arc. I love that so much. She's got my vote for the for the for the ruler of Lagunica. Personally, I thought she was so much better than Amelia. I think she would do so much better as the ruler. Um, I loved her. I loved her whole team. I love Wilhelm. I love Felix. I absolutely loved. Uh, I absolutely loved Crochet. She is definitely a highlight character in my opinion. And another character that I really wish had more time in season two because there's a ton of development with it with her in the second half of season one that I really loved and I was really looking forward to seeing her more in season two. But unfortunately, no dice. So yeah, um, Crochet. I absolutely loved her. I'm gonna give Crochet an A plus. I absolutely love that character. And maybe in season three she'll come back hopefully but yeah awesome character i love crochet all righty and we have the other and we now have the other two uh the other two candidates for the royal selection priscilla uh i thought she was a total bitch but i kind of liked her i thought she was a, bi a bit a bit i thought she was a bitch to the level that she was actually still kind of likable still kind of fun to listen to um i'm pretty sure there's not a picture of her in this book unfortunately um but she was kind of a she was like she was a total bitch like overall she was a total bitch but I do like her as a character uh, because I just thought she was kind of fun overall. There she is. She's in the she's uh, in the back right there. She was she was a fun character though. I liked the whole thing with her and her night guy that she had. Um, I liked the whole thing with the thugs with her. By the way, I'm not ranking those thug characters. Okay, there's not they they are not characters. Um, in my opinion, they're not good enough to be characters that I rank, even though they kept showing up throughout the show. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't have much to say about her. There's not a ton of time with this character. She really is just one of the candidates of the uh, of the royal selection. There is that really there is that scene where. Subaru goes to her for help because he's trying to get any way to save his friends and uh, she fucking makes him kiss, his, kiss her foot and then just kicks him out like she was a total bitch but a bitch that I could kind of be entertained by personally. She's not like Jungo level or anything like she's not like that good but a character that I did like and I didn't really resent her when she showed up on screen so I'll hit Priscilla with a B tier personally a fun character. Alrighty, and the final, and the final, uh, candidate for the, uh, for the, uh, freaking Royal Selection, Anastasia Hoshin. I liked this character as well, although, once again, she was kind of a bitch. There was the whole thing with her and Subaru, where she totally tricked Subaru in that little diner scene. Um, but, um, I thought she was an okay character, and there was the whole redemption with her in the White Whale arc as well. And she does bring us Julius, who we're gonna talk about in a second here, who I really like Julius, but, um, I don't have much of an opinion on her. I like her design, I like the whole thing with her sisters and her brothers, although I'm not gonna be ranking those characters. 
characters. Those were not characters enough for me to rank them. So, yeah. Um, but Anastasia, I liked her. I liked her design a good bit, and I thought she was an okay character. But she was kind of a meanie, and I would say she's a little bit. And I did, and I would say she was meaner than Priscilla overall. So I gave Priscilla a B tier. I'll hit Anastasia with a B minus, just because I did think she was a little bit. I honestly thought she probably was overall worse than Priscilla. I thought she was meaner than Priscilla, because Priscilla, by the end of it, she was kind of harmless. I mean, not exactly. She did kick Subaru in the face there, but um, I thought she was kind of harmless overall, but the things that Anastasia did to, to, to Subaru, they felt a little bit more fucked up to me. So yeah, um, I'll hit her with a B-. minus. Alrighty. Wilhelm, very cool character. I liked this guy a lot. I loved the whole story with him and his wife, how his wife was killed by the white whale and he wanted revenge so badly. Um, I love the whole white whale arc so much. That's probably my favorite arc of the first half of season one. Um, not first half of season one, of uh, season two. Um, season one in general. There you go. Uh, that's probably my favorite arc of the, of season one. Um, and I liked him a lot. I, once again, I loved the, the story with him and his wife. I really liked all the development he got. Um, he was a good character. He was pretty badass. I liked him a good bit. Uh, he was definitely a huge, uh, huge character in the second half of season one and yeah I liked him a lot I thought he was a good character I like his design and yeah I mean there it isn't a we don't really learn a ton about him all we really learn about him is his past with his wife and the whole how he resents the white whale and he's got a good design I liked him as a character a lot but I will go ahead and hit him with a uh let's go with an a minus he was a good character I definitely did like him not as much as crochet though I did not like him as much as crochet personally I thought crochet was a little bit more badass than him so yeah Wilhelm a minus Alrighty, Otto. I gotta have to set aside the fact that Otto is voiced by Zach Aguilar, and I love Tanjiro so much, so I'm kind of biased in that regard. But I did like Otto a lot. Um, the, he was a very funny character, and I did kind of think there were some moments where he was kind of like a dick to to Subaru. You know, there was a whole thing where he wanted to go back for Rem, and he just kind of kicked him off. Like he was kind of justified. You know, you know, he 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 did he, 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 he did seem like he was thinking straight, um, and Subaru wasn't quite thinking straight, so I don't really blame Otto for that moment, because, you know, Rem was already dead by, 100%, Rem was already dead by that point, um, but Otto was a good character, I liked the whole thing where he was like a traitor, and, you know, he was always helping him, but he always, he was always sort of a nice person, honestly, I really liked that, and then in season two, Otto really does become a major character in season two, and I was totally cool with that, because I like him as a character a lot, I like his design, obviously I love his voice actor, um, and, uh, yeah, Otto, a good character, I really liked him. I love all the development we got in season two. In season two, he really did kind of become the Rem of, of, uh, of season two because, you know, Rem was kind of, Rem was Subaru's ray of sunshine in the first season, how he kind of, Rem was the one that brought him back to faith when he kind of lost it all. Um, and Otto was kind of that in season two. So I liked Otto a lot. I'll go ahead and hit Otto with an A tier. I liked him. I liked him as a character a lot. Alrighty. Julius. I like Julius a lot. I thought he was pretty cool. There was the whole thing with him in uh, in the Royal Selection where he's like where he calls out Subaru. He takes him out he and he beats the shit out of him with that thing. But I think he was kind of justified because Subaru was being you know, like a fucking insufferable prick in that scene and they reveal like later on in the show that Julius was actually a really nice guy who was kind of just doing his job there and Subaru just kind of hates on him just because he kind of got in but he just got he kind of got in between him and Amelia. So I don't know. I feel like Subaru is, is on the wrong side there and I like Julius a lot. I liked him a lot. Um, I didn't like, I, I thought that in, see, in, uh, in season one, once like Julius was really trying to like become friends with Subaru, was trying to actually put aside the past with him. Um, I did not like that Subaru would not like return it. Although it did kind of feel like in some ways he was returning it and he just didn't want to admit it. But, um, I liked him as a character a lot. I like his design. He was a very cool knight character. I probably liked him actually the most of all the knight characters except for Felix. Um, yeah, I liked him a lot. He was a good character. I loved the whole thing with him in the final episode too, where he has to where he has to fight Battle Geese through like Subaru can see Battle Geese's unseen hands. So they do the whole thing where where Subaru uh, where Subaru's eyes and Julius is the one fighting him. I really like that whole scene. So uh, yeah, Julius, I liked him as a character a lot, and I'll go ahead and hit him with an A tier as well. I really liked him. And. Finally, our main villain of season one and the final character I will be ranking in this video, Betelgeese, Romani Conti, the Sin Archbishop of Sloth. This was an awesome villain. I thought this guy was so scary, so creepy. He was so freaking... He genuinely... He was so scary. He was genuinely so freaky. He freaked me out. He creeped me out. And I loved every second of it. I thought he was such an awesome villain. Um, The way he just relentlessly comes after Subaru in the final episode. And he's fucking chasing after him. And he's got like that... He's like that weird spider form. I really, really liked the character. Um, And he was just so creepy, dude. He was so unbelievably creepy and unnerving to watch. And I loved love him like that's what a villain should be and he's definitely my favorite villain of season one actually 
probably my favorite villain of the show in general, honestly. He was such a scary and creepy fucking character, and I love him. And I love the development with him in season two as well. We get to learn his whole backstory, and I really like that as well, how he's kind of friends with, with Amelia's mother. Um, I, I really did like, I really liked him as a character. I thought he was a super creepy and awesome villain, and definitely my favorite villain of the, uh, of the show. So yeah. I'll go ahead and hit Biddle Geese with an A+, because as far as the villain goes, he was so effective as the villain of season one for me anyway. So there you have it, everybody. That is every single season one, well not every single, all of the major season one characters ranked. That was a ton of fun, guys. There is the final ranking right there. Um, absolutely loved doing this video. This was so much fun. Once again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want me to do a, a, a ranking for the characters of season two, go ahead and let me know down below and I will definitely make it happen uh, sooner rather than later if people want it enough. So uh, there you have it, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was super fun to make. I uh, hope you guys uh, leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my picks? Do you not agree with my picks? What did you agree with? What do, what do you not agree with? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. We can have a ton of fun chatting down there about our favorite characters, about our favorite ReZero characters. Yeah, leave all your thoughts down there. And with that being said, everybody, this is DK Guillotine, uh, signing out.